This is definitely the most remote place that I've been in terms of a climbing expedition. Yeah, we're a long ways from anything. So to get here to Bettles, we flew to Anchorage on big commercial flights. Then we flew to Unicleet and then we flew to some place in the middle of nowhere that I don't remember, and then here to Bettles. I, you know, to be honest, I don't really have any expectations as far as the climbing or the skiing goes. If we just go in there and camp, then that'd be great, and we, if we go in there and we send some rad wall, that'd be awesome too. I just think it's gonna be a, a cool experience going in there. Climbers historically come to the Brooks Range in the middle of the summer where they're bushwhacking for days and there's mosquitoes. We decided to come in the winter, which means comparatively we could get in here easy on skis. Tiny little plane. It's pretty rad. I've never been in anything this small. I'm actually a bit afraid of flying, to be honest. Do you want a co-pilot? I'd love to. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna sit in the back and like listen to my music and go into my happy place. <laughs> There's so many aspects of this whole trip that are unknown, and tomorrow we're gonna be in the nitty gritty of it, really figuring it out. I mean, we're gonna be skiing in. We're gonna be a long way from rescue, a long way from anywhere warm. You know, and I'm really excited to kind of go in there in actual winter condition and travel on skis. I think it'll be much faster and much more efficient. Our trip was unique in that we came in here when there was snow in the winter, which meant we were risking being super cold, which our first night skiing in, it was cold. We didn't even start skiing until 9, and then we skied until like 5 a.m. When you come on big expeditions like this, there's always a high probability that you're not going to climb anything. So you have to go to the trip you're appreciating just the skiing and being in the mountains and being with friends. I mean, that's what it's all about. <laughs> But if you get to add the element of actually sending something cool, um, that makes it all, all the better. We've been pretty much going pretty much every day, hiking, shuttling the loads, getting base camp established, checking out the routes, seeing what the conditions are like. It took another two days to approach the route. I mean, we end up spending a lot of time just moving around up here, but you know, that's cool. That's kind of what these trips are about. The climb itself is just one small, part of the overall experience that we're looking for. Just kind of like one of those things, it's like, we only have like one day to go climbing really, so you might get up there and it might be totally awesome and you just send it, or you get up there and you're like, oh, well, it doesn't go. We decided we were gonna climb a peak that was to the south of Xanadu. We kind of scoped this line, it looked like you know some more clean rock climbing, a little bit less exposed to some of the snow slopes that we thought might slide. Anything we get to do is kind of a treat, and this route looks pretty promising, and yeah, if we got to do that, that'd be, that'd be awesome. I have my alarm set for 2.30. I call this morning brew. We're hoping to leave camp by four, and then that should get us up to the base of the route about when it gets light. We realized hiking in there, these mountains are way bigger than we thought. It took us all like four hours to get to the base of just pretty much hiking uphill. It was pretty surprising. And right off the bat, the climbing was really run out, no protection, we we're wandering all over the place. This could be harder than we thought. There's not that many continuous cracks, we'd be kind of doing these weird traverses in between these cracks. And then there was some super sweet climbing, I and mean, some of the pitches were really amazing. So like we were in and out, there's a weird cloud cover all day, but it wasn't threatening at all, and it was just really beautiful. 
Hayden ended up leading this pitch up high that was like 50 feet run out on sketchy slab climbing. The anchors were pretty bad. Went a bit exciting, but I mean, it was a great pitch. It had great rocks. It was a full on adventure. And we ended up putting up, it looks to be a 1,300 foot root. Kind of feels good to be up on top of that wall. So I mean, when we topped out our peak, we scrambled along this knife edge ridge. It just seemed to go on for miles. It was glorious. 2,000 foot drop on this side, 2,000 foot drop on that side. You're just straddling the top. The route itself was a pretty proud effort, I think. It was like a 5'11 X route in the middle of the Alaskan bush. I mean, I've been on so many expeditions where you just don't send anything. And so it's really just a cherry on top to come in here with the limited time that we did and actually climb. Generally, the trips that I've been on, you go somewhere, you have a topo map of somebody that has been there, at least some information of what's possible. Here, it was just completely exploratory. I mean, no trails. We didn't see another trace of a human being up here. And that's cool. I mean, it adds this real spirit of exploration to the trip.